you welcome welcome back to the channel so today we're doing a 351 windsor swap in my car that was already 351 windsor swapped so <laughs> so uh for any of y'all that haven't been watching my stuff on instagram or tiktok there's the valve covers and that's definitely not a cleaver that's a stock 351 windsor block there's my intake, and there is the cleaver, the 408 cleaver. So, sad news is that I've got a couple of pistons that are not happy. I've um, got some cracks, and we are getting combustion gas into the coolant. Uh, it's four days before Rocky Mountain Race Week, and I just don't have time to figure out what's going on. So, some buddies. Thank you guys. <laughs> well, yeah. So we got this 351 Windsor and we're swapping from a cleaver back to a Windsor. So we're talking exhaust, um, fuel system, accessories, like the whole nine. The one thing we're going to talk about today is the flywheel. So I have a zero balance flywheel that was on the cleaver for my, um, my rotating assembly. And we are trying to change that over to be a 28 ounce balance for the Windsor. So here's what you need to know. It's gotta be 157 tooth flywheel um, and it's gotta be for a 10 and a half inch clutch disc. A Fox body flywheel will not work. A 79 and 80 is 28 ounce balance, but it is for a 10 inch clutch disc. It will not work. So I'm gonna show you what we did. We can't, so it's Saturday right now. The speed shops are closed. We can't get a flywheel in time for race week. So we are going to improvise. So here's our flywheel, and this one came as a 28 ounce balance, but the weights were removed to make it zero balance. You can see our weight plate here. How thick is this, Justin? 3 sixteenths. 3 sixteenths. So this is going to be ish in there, and we're going to cut it. So this weight is proportional to the rotating mass, and this is what we found out today, is that it's the distance from the center line out. So can you hold that for me? So if we are measuring from the center line out, so like the center line of ours are right about four and we at four and a half, and the end of our weight is at five inches. So you take whatever balance you're going for, we're going for a 28 ounce balance, and then you divide that by however many inches off the center line your weight is. So we did the math, and I believe we're at 5.6, 5.6. <clears throat> So we're, <laughs> we're going for a 28 ounce balance and we're about five inches out. So 5.6 is what we're looking at. So what we're doing is using Cheech's weed scale here and we are actually going to measure our, our weight until we get to there. So if you look at any of the, the actual parts online, they'll have a listing and a picture of the weights and the, the 28 ounce balance is just barely wider than the, the bolt holes. And then the 50 ounce balance for a 302 is a hell of a lot longer. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So, 28 ounce balance flywheel for a 351 Windsor. It's got to be 157 tooth, and it's got to be for a 10 and a half inch clutch disc. Um, unless you're running a 10 inch clutch, which I don't know why you would. So, that's what we're doing. More videos to come. So, we are going to drop this 351 Windsor in the car. We're going to get it running hopefully today, tonight. I would say 90% chance, and I got to show you what other goodies. So, in the essence of time, I do not have a 351 Windsor EFI intake manifold. I'm just going to show you a teaser. You're going to have to wait on this one. Yeah, it's going down like that. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is, but oh, look at that camera's all dirty. <laughs> And I appreciate you. I accept you. I expect that. <laughs> Go so, both ways. So, <laughs> uh, I did give him some rear end. Yeah. Does that mean I technically gave you some tail? Because that's just weird. That that's awkward. So we finally got our, our counterbalance here. It wasn't good tail. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'll bleep that out. Sorry. You got sloppy seconds. <laughs> Look at that counterbalance. Oh, my gosh. 
fucking right there. Uh, oh, sorry. Hey, this guy over here that's cussing. Trying to take my money away. Clark, how you're taking your video? Look at that. Did you put the green stuff on them yet, or are you just test nope, fitting it? we're just test fitting it. Mock Why is that one crooked? Uh, because somebody has a really bad vice. <laughs> <laughs> this thing? <laughs> what are you talking about? And yet we've all That's my good one. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a counterweighted flywheel. For 28 ounces. This is exciting. So, uh, again, the calculation for that is from the center line, take whatever your balance is, whether it's 50 ounces, and divide that by how many inches away from the center line of the crankshaft that your weights are going to be. That's how you get how many ounces of weight you need to be. Who knew? Learn something new every day. And you want to take into account the bolts. Yes, take into account the bolts too because the bolts are part of that counterweight because you're putting metal on the outside of the ring of the flywheel. So if you don't count for the bolts, you're gonna be off. So, uh, flywheel's on. We've got our counterbalance on. We've got, so this is a factory fuel, uh, or a factory lower intake manifold. And the fuel rail you have to use is the one with the slanted injectors. If you use like a, a straight one, they're cheaper. That's why I prefer them, but you can't on this. So, we had to use that. We had to adapt up here to go around the distributor, and we're actually kind of touching a little bit here, but we'll be all right. And then for the upper intake manifold, man, that's going to be a gem. I'm super excited. Is he uh, he's spraying that thing out at the car wash right uh, now? Yes, he is. Oh, man, that's going to town. Yeah. So we're cleaning out the upper intake manifold, and once you see the debacle we got going on with that, it's, it's just it's going to be a thing of beauty. <laughs> it's going to be something else. All right, so we're going to drop this in here. Oh, he just got back with the intake manifold. So we're going to get the 351 in this bad boy, and we're going to fire this up tonight. Yeah. It's happening. Yep. Yes, sir. Wait. Oh, gosh. No, I just uh, want to make hey, sure. Put, um, put more of your weight on your left foot. Seriously, because we need, we need yeah. to rock that yeah. weight a bit. No, I'm making sure that I'm not even going to bump yes. an injector. Bro, right, right there. there. Right, right there. Drop it like it's hot. Right. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, yeah. go. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> That was a goodie. <laughs> this is way more fun than the <laughs> <little bands. laughs> Sorry, I had a terrible idea. Why well, you gotta do jump on a motor? <laughs> <laughs> this is not in the handbook. Hey, you know, this is the safest way we can do this because if the chain snaps or the hoist fails, all it's gonna do is fall down in the cradle. Yeah. Do not do this at home. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't this in the Haynes? Well, I'm at home and we're doing it at my house. This was in that Haynes rebuild book, right? It might not be OSHA approved. I was reading through the Haynes you manual. Ready? This is how it says to do a 350. It was about 30 years ago. Oh, are you ready? Clear? Yep. Nope. Nope. Three, two, one. Oh, brother. That is clearancing well. Yeah, no. Three, two, one. Bro, that thing's squatting. Look at the wood block in there. Someone's touching on this side. <laughs> Look up what I got. Go. Three, two, one. Oh. I want wood? All right. All right oh, I got wood for days, bro. Three, two, one. Oh. I was looking to the wife for confirmation on that one. Wife cam. I'm saying it's a good thing she didn't spin it around. Three, two, one. Oh, that's uh. doing some work. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Same stuff as we're chopping yeah. on the motor. Actually, I think that works if I load the chain right before you drop it. Yeah, and you know what else it does? It stresses the <laughs> chain and says, I'm yeah. gonna break! Well, do you want it clearance or do you not? Uh, yes. That's what I thought. Shush. <laughs> Give me a count. Three, two, one, go. That was a Aww. very, that was a very bad one. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Like that. I need the Kool-Aid man to break down the wall. Oh yeah. <laughs> OSHA approved. <laughs> OSHA approved. <laughs> All right. We Watch need uh, oil in the car, right? Nah. This is this is how you felt well. Yeah, I got you. That's close. That's good. Oh, yeah. We'll make that happen. You you ready with the, the spare jug? No. That's dumb.
think it's not on an angle. Go. Or like perpendicular, you know? <laughs> that would be, you'd have to like mesh that count for that. Oh, yeah, come on that side. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's going right into the funnel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I got a great idea. We're going to take so much time. This is the best part <laughs> of the night. <laughs> It would actually flow faster if we had. Give me the other phone. I titled it on my Snapchat Crackhead Oil Chain. It's <laughs> <laughs> not even an oil motor over here. Look at how nasty that oil is. That's, that's Why are we putting it into the fucking. It's just for startup. Yeah. All right. Just for startup. To be done is at 4 in the morning. <laughs> There's no other time that this is okay. Ever. It's not like noon. Should we go get new oil? Nah, fuck it. Get the fucking hoist. <laughs> get the hoist. I mean, it's kind of funny how violently you shoved your finger inside of that hole. I was like, whoa, whoa, He's whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> he missed that first opportunity to capitalize on the second. Yeah. Hulk fingers. <laughs> Heard about using this oil pants. So Might as well finger a little bit. <laughs> Just get a hole saw, put a hole in the side of it. JB Well, two self tapers. <laughs> done. And that will do at five in the morning. Enough, JD Well, okay. I've never okay. used GoPros. Tries to fire. Uh, Alright, for so startup. This engine's never had any sort of E85 in it. This shit hasn't run in eight years, so. Uh, yeah, yeah so I, I don't have any control over the throttle blades, Mike, so you might have to. It's going to be giving it a crap ton of fuel for the 408, so you might have to modulate the throttle a little bit to get it to go. Yep. Is this and if, if it yeah, fires, I'm going to have to shut it down right away because it's going to be really loud. Yep. Huh? Ready? <laughs> okay. sensor is going to have to be hooked up, otherwise it's not going to get the right amount of fuel. see he has just spent the past several I don't know how many days building a internal pipe bomb into his car and it's about to kill all of us. I am very hopeful that the results will be well. It's not gonna kill us. Don't tell them that. <laughs> this is the hook. This is what gets there's, him interested. I don't there, know. There, there's gonna be flames and death. There's there's part of part of me that is like more excited than I know what to do with and there's another part of me that's like okay. Did I forget anything? We're gonna find out. I, I feel like your list over there is not crossed off. I should put an X through it and say engine blowed up. All right, here we go. No, this is Kyle's engine. All right. Now the other one. Oh. You ready? Do I need ear protection?
thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And uh, thanks for hating on my cleaver. Stay tuned for race week videos, guys. Have a good one. Drive fast and take chances.